Hey guys, Anthony here. It's uh, Friday, September 9th, 2022. Wanted to give you guys a quick update on the uh, Rad bike. This is the Rad Runner. You guys have seen it in some of my videos. So I took a little time the other day to uh, outfit the back area here with some gear. Um, as you guys have seen, I've, I've always had this pack attached to uh, the steel rack here with these... Um, like rubber eyes, night eyes, I think they're night eyes, uh, like wire attachment. So that stays on pretty strong. And I've got some gear in there, some a rain jacket, uh, I think my coffee cup, the battery charger for the bike, uh, some other gear, some tools, some stuff on the side here. Uh, but what I did the other day was um, I've attached a Kershaw blade here. I forget the name of this one. It's a $50 knife, but it's fantastic. It's almost like a mini machete. And that went perfectly over the uh, rails here, right here, with the actual straps that were on the knife already. And then that went around there, the belt thing. So all I have to do is kind of reach my hand in here, uh, right here through the side, and just unclip this here, and the knife comes right out. Uh, so that's a nice addition, and it rides pretty pretty low-key there, so that's really nice. I like that. And then what I did was I just attached with some zip ties a Nalgene canteen nested inside of a canteen cup and a canteen lid. So I've got, you know, um, a liter of water, canteen cup to cook in, canteen lid for the top. I've got my Soku 22-watt folding solar panel with... Um, wires and everything I need to recharge my phone. The only thing I didn't put on here yet is my battery backup that can charge off of the Soku panel that I use to dump the power into my phone. So that I would take with me on a trek. And that's just, again, clipped on here with these night eyes so it doesn't really go anywhere. This is just a rubber, uh, excuse me, one of those things you kneel on or sit on at a football game. I just have that in here all the time. And then what I did was, <clears throat> several years ago, I got these kits over at um, in Florida at Macy's. They were like, for hurricane preparedness, the Life Essentials kits. And these little slots here had water packets in them. And then the inside had the, um, you know, those survival bars. It was like a three-day survival kit. And so I saved the packs, and they have a strap you could use to... Uh, put it on your shoulder, but what I did was I took the shoulder straps, I just put a zip tie through them, and I made, um, I guess you'd call them panniers, panniers, or whatever the hell they call them. So I put one on the left side of the back here for some gear. There's nothing in this one. And then on the other side, I put the other one, and that has some gear in it. I have, um, I'm not going to take everything out, I have a folding stove. I've got a beverage packet, I've got a fire kit, a small survival kit. I've got a keychain with a whistle and compass and stuff like that, thermometer. Um, I've got a little dry sack in there I could use to collect stuff if I had to. And again, I've got one of those, um, you know, little mini survival kits in there. And so that's on the back of the bike there. Uh, nothing in the center storage console, but I just wanted to show you guys how you could outfit this. Uh, and this is outfitted for me right now for like a scout. If I had to go on a scout or drive around town, I've got some basic stuff to take with me. Um, I have another dry bag on the shelf that I could throw back in this cargo area that has a tarp, a full-size tarp and stakes and, and cordage and stuff like that in it, you know, to to give me shelter if I needed to. I could shelter the bike and myself. Um, but so that's what I wanted to show you guys this morning. Just the, you know, just wanted to get your thoughts on it. Um, again, these packs, I could take them off if I want to, no problem. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna get are the fenders for the front and the back. But um, i just let you guys know what, uh, what these rad bikes are capable of. Um, you could definitely increase your range, your distance, uh, again, you could put a, you know, sleeping system here. I could put food and more water in the center console. And then I have the front area there 
for some other things that I need, uh, if I needed to take like ham radio gear or something like that. Um, I've got my roll up ham radio antenna in here. Okay. That I could use for my handheld radio to get more range and I could throw that right in. So being modular, I think is important. And so, um, this bike definitely gives me the ability, uh, vehicles are down or if I want to just go silently around town, um, and do a scout, I can do it. So that's the video today, guys. Let me know what you think. Anthony signing off. Stay ready.